Hello, Matthew. Hi, Lana. So, Hello. what do you what do you want what do you do now? What do you want to do? I'm a filmmaker and a blogger, and I want to um, focus on that. I've done other things, but I want to focus on that. Uh -huh. um, and happy birthday to it, by the way. Oh, how'd you happy know that? My oh my goodness! I've yes. Been, I've been following you for so long. So. Really, so, you're the one. So. I, well, thank yes, you. And I, and I ordered your fiber services, and yes, I really uh, need to really, I need to get my situation straight so I can uh, uh, Let's see. So, you, what what is your uh, blogger about? Blog about? I blog about things to do in Los Angeles for ten dollars a month. Ah, well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and it's how the La La Land flirt? La La Land flirt. No, I should call it that. The La La Land Alert. Oh, Alert. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, yeah, flirt did sound more interesting, didn't it? Uh, well, let's say you, got some, you want to make money out of that. Do, any, do many people make money out of blogs or what? I'm oh, sorry. Our last was that. Okay, repeat what you just said. I, I said, do many... Uh, sorry, many people make money out of blogs. I mean, I, it seems that you have to have something else more tangible to make money out of, right? Yeah, well, I'm going to a conference next week to meet advertisers to do some affiliate marketing. Uh -huh. um, I've made a little bit of money, but I never focused on, on it as a business before yeah. until this year. I see. Because a lot of people know it, a lot of people like it, hmm. and a lot of them plan their weekends around it. Oh. But I'm a, also a filmmaker who's been quite accomplished. I used to, I have a, I've gotten grants in my life. I got a grant from Disney, and that's how I moved here from New York. I was writing um, I see. For, for Disney as a writer fellow. Oh. So I'm, I can get grants in New York and lay off <laughs> well that's pretty cool <laughs> but so now it's really you want to live off the blog and is there I want to live off both of them I'm really off my filmmaking but both of them whichever one's going to give me money uh -huh. happy. well filmmaking I mean those let's see I mean to me one thing if it's really just money and you don't want to do anything fancy you may want to look at getting film stuff from the government uh, send you a bunch of lists there. I mean, they buy more film production than anybody else in the world. I mean, the problem is it's going to be boring as shit, you know, <laughs> most likely, okay. yeah. Uh, but it, but it's work, you know, and it's steady. And once you, it's like my, my, my uh, sister, she frames artwork. Now, down in her, you know, she's like a garage in the middle of Virginia somewhere, she does about a million bucks worth of business just framing Chotskys for the government out of her garage. You know, and what? yeah, exactly. You know, like awards or something. You know, the bureaucrat gets a little award or something, <laughs> and they send it to her the frame. You know, so now with the, I mean, I think video is, is so much more. You know, just a, the way to communicate. I mean, that's what I'm doing now. I don't write books. I do videos. You know, uh, and so even businesses and whatever. But now as a business, because anybody could do it with an iPhone. You know, who's really paying money to do it as a profession? And one place still is the government. That's all they do. I mean, the people in the government have money contracts. They have money and to give to people to do things for them. And their job is really to oversee other people doing all the work. work. So all the video okay. that all the video that's going on, you know, and you have a uh, shitload of credentials. Now, the problem with that, though, it may take, you know, four to six months or something to learn the system. You know, but but with government contract, when you learn the system, it it's like elephant hunting. When you bag one of those suckers, you know, it's for a long time because once you're in the system, then it's easier to give it to you again because there's it's a pain in the butt, you know, uh, to give it to somebody new who, who who's not in the system. And there's offices, particularly as a woman entrepreneur, it, you don't need consultants. People out there will tell you you need an accountant, a lawyer, and all this to get a A day or a woman owned business. Or, that's nonsense. I'll send you some links to some video interviews I've done of government officials who tell you how to do this uh, without, hiring, okay. without hiring anybody. Plus, there's offices around that uh, get grants from the government to help you figure out how to do this. So these consultants okay. are free. So that would be one area that, you know, it would be a baseline to spend maybe, 
you know, time that so you could do this other stuff and you're still learning video and doing that and, and building credentials. Again, it's not entertainment stuff, but now, God, I mean, I think every, every you know, what's the only thing that's really going in our, our country now? Like the magazine, you know, Vice to me is the only magazine that's growing because it's video, right? Uh, and, yeah, and, and, and everything. Right, and so all that stuff that that's going on, I, I think in media is video, uh, but so much of it is free and figuring out, like YouTube isn't, you know, there's not money there. Um, for other people, there may be, I mean, to me it's commerce that wants bit video versus trying to sell commercial video to people. I mean, that must, you know, you know that business. I mean, Disney has a line in front of their door every day, yeah. Uh, you know, for do, doing that kind of stuff. So how do you make it pay? So maybe your artwork can be more the blog that you're interested in and you really are doing this other work as a more steady thing. Uh, it's sort of like the guy who does all those great documentaries. Uh, oh, no, the, uh, oh, he did one on, uh, 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 what's his name? He's an older guy, been around a while, but he just did one on McNamara and the end of the war and stuff like that. But he, he does commercial work a lot on the side, you know, <laughs> to keep going and does these great documentaries. We got a second or two. Uh, I'm going to give you a, an email, okay? Uh, and, okay. and send me, send me your email. I'll send you all the stuff I'm talking about. Your session has ended. Please take a moment to read this session.